This is Lincoln. He's a very playful five-month-old Boston Terrier. He looks pretty happy now, but that wasn't the case a few weeks ago. His mum, Carolyn Tonkley, who just happens to be the practice manager at ARH Homebush, knew something was wrong. One afternoon when I returned home from work, I noticed that he wasn't his normal self, he wasn't playful, he was yelping, very unhappy, and um, just in a lot of pain. So we came into ARH to emergency and um, he was seen and given some pain meds and we went home, came in the next day and saw Sarah and we tried the same thing again, some more pain meds and then went back home um, thinking that not knowing really what was going on other than he might have hurt himself by a bit of rough play with the other two dogs at home. But given there were no obvious signs of external injury, how do you go about diagnosing this little guy and what can be done? Dr Sarah Goldsmith explains. He, um, about a month ago, four weeks ago or so, became really sore, really painful in his back legs to the point where he actually would handstand rather than put his legs down, both back legs. He was really sore and crying when you picked him up and pretty sad and a lot smaller. A lot smaller. <laughs> at that point. So just a little puppy, but um, quite a sudden onset. So, you know, within two or three days, he was really quite sore. And we tried him just on pain relief and he didn't get better. Um, and then we started getting a bit more concerned because he was still really sore. So then we did advanced imaging so we CT'd and MRI'd his spine and actually found on the MRI that he had an infection underneath his spine right down in the lower back right down here and we actually popped needles into that area and got some samples and we took blood and we took urine and we ran all of those and we found out he had a pseudomonas which is a type of bacteria a pseudomonas infection around his spine in the lumbar area pretty unusual but can happen in puppies and he was just really unfortunate we don't even know why he had that happen um, but he we found out what it was which is great and we were able to put, put him on the right antibiotic and it's now a month down the track and he's doing really well he's back, he's to, back normal. to his naughty little puppy self <laughs> yeah I haven't it's fixed great. his naughtiness <laughs> but we're going to have a little see, look at him walking down the corridor yeah. he's not good on leads so we'll try this out yeah. come on just you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, as you can see, Lincoln looks like he's back to his playful self, but he just might need a little bit more work to learn how to walk on lead. Good boy, come on. Just let him go and walk down the corridor. Lincoln, come on. Good boy.